look what I've been looking at. I normally keep an eye on all these things on eBay just to see if there's anything that can benefit my projects and I came across this quite nearby me. So I think it's um, maybe worth a look. Welcome to another one of my dad's videos. Um, we went to look at car parts for Eleanor, but we ended up buying another mini. So, so this video is about um, like deciding what we're going to do with it. So, as you've seen, we jumped in my friend's truck and we took a trip through. This was the first view we had of the mini. It's a 1982 Mini City. This is us having a look around it. The guy seemed a really decent guy. He's a Mini enthusiast, so he had a lot of spare parts and bits and pieces that I found would come in useful with Eleanor. So um, we came to a deal that suited myself and him, and I have to say I'm very pleased with the results. We'll go into a bit more detail later in the video. The parts that came with it and we'll see it a bit better once it's been taken out of the garage. So we moved all the parts in a separate van so they're not on the back of the trailer and this is us just moving the shell. So all the parts were moved to the garage first then we came back to the shell and this is us getting the shell back to my garage to meet Eleanor. So that kind of tells you what temperature it is in Scotland at the moment. So yeah, it's freezing, but just put extra layers on. It doesn't stop us. Um, yeah, the option with Eleanor, I've got, a, as most of you all know, I've got an emotional attachment with this car. It's something special. It's the first money I had. Um, and it's like a member of the family. Yep, I might be mental, but that's what it is. So I can't get rid of that project to try and mm -hmm. get this, even if this one's in better condition overall, I, I, I can't do it. Yeah, so we're trying to decide what to do with it. Is it going to be a donor car? Is it going to be another restoration? I don't know. Um, the problem is space. We've not got space to keep it and work on it as a separate restoration, so we need to find somewhere else for it, but then that's more expense, which defeats the purpose of getting it to start with. We've got all the panels separately, which I'll go over, but it's the shell that I'm trying to decide what to do with. It came with a V5, so it's got a V5 and a shell. We could sell that on and take what we need off it and make some money back to put them back into it, but, or we could strip it and use it for parts for Elnor, but the problem with that, as a lot of mini enthusiasts out there will be, I don't know if I'll have the heart to strip it and take another mini out of the system. So yeah, I'm looking for opinions and I'm also looking for what everyone thinks. So yeah, get the comments in and let me know what you think. What we'll do is we'll give you a 
walk around it and show you what we've we've got and I'll try and cover as much as I can. But yeah, keep the comments coming, questions, I'm happy to answer any and looking for advice. I'm still undecided so anyone can sway me. Sway us. Okay. Right, so it's a Sunday morning, nice and quiet. I think every normal person's still in their bed. I don't class myself in that bracket or category, so yeah, let's have a look around this car. I'll start with the front and work my way back. And um, like if you know your minis well enough, which most of you do, you'll see straight away what is that in the middle. Yeah, I spoke to the guy I bought it off. <clears throat> the plans he had for this was, he didn't know which engine he was putting in it, but this was to make room for a turbo. So he sacrificed the, the whole rail along there, which I'll not be doing. Not just now anyway, there's future potential with race cars, um, mods and all that sort of stuff, but I'm going with my original idea first. So, yep, so that's been done to it. The front um, firewall, not great. I was hoping I could maybe salvage some bits of this for Eleanor, but as you can see, it's probably in worse condition, so yeah, that's pretty rubbish. It has been hacked at a few bits. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure the previous owner had reason or plans, but never followed them through. So, yep, that's the front. He has put a new wing on here. So, although he has cut it here because his intention was to make a flip front. And again, that's something I'll not be doing. So, it's a shame because he didn't actually keep this section because these aren't cheap panels, these, and, yeah, so I'll need to think what I'm doing with that. New A panel. That, um, that's quite loose. So I think that's, that's not actually well done yet. I think what he's done is he's just, um, squeezed that on there, so that should come off no problem. It's got a finishing panel up there. Yep, that's, uh, new. You'll notice... All of these panels are heritage, which is ideal because that's where the money is and that's where the quality is. Um, going down on the bottom, it's not the prettiest under there and you can see some of the welding's not um, the greatest, not that I claim to be an expert welder and when I do get welding again, that will get better than what I'm doing on this car, but yeah. So the other side, it's been a bit further on, it's again a heritage panel primed and he's had the same idea except for he's filled in the, the air vent which yeah there's reasons for that but I, I do like original and you can see he's obviously done this side later on because it's it's been finished he has worked on this side it looks first so <clears throat> coming inside again the um Drain plugs have all been welded in again. It's done that because that's where many rust from. But it's whether you want to keep it original or keep bungs in, I don't know. I hadn't went that far with mine yet. So the bit you've seen on the outside before, this bit here, would obviously cause issues with the heater coming in here because there's not much room there anyway. So not that the mini heater is up to much anyway, but that's another issue. So there's bits cut out here. That's just seen from the front. The floor is fully in. Um, it does seem quite solid on this side. Uh, most of the car that I've been around anyway, it's done in patches so it's tacked, so it's not fully seam welded. So yeah, I, I know these would be I know these would be spot welded anyway, but everything I can is getting seam welded just for extra strength and to keep it longer. It has put quite a bit of bracing in. I know, uh, Sean, see you were looking at bracing ideas for your car. I know you'll be popping across to have a look at this, so yep, maybe this is an idea. There's a hundred out there, I'm sure. People have different opinions. Um, some of it is solid, although not the best welding. So, going back, yep, the bins have been stripped. The um, whole panel on there, the heel board, subframe mountain bracket, panel, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Again, heritage. Coming back all the way up, it's a full new floor from the seat all the way round to the back, which um, again has been stitch welded, if you like, and not fully welded in, so 
no battery box, which isn't a problem, that just fits in anyway. Has braced this as well. Um, the He was trying to tub the wheel arches, he told me. So he has put the wheel arches in, but it's kind of started a job and then not finished it. So, yeah, it's all about where I want to go with it. So, um, rear quarter panel, again, heritage. It's a bit more bumpy filler than that, but it's not been finished off for the join, as you can see here um, and along here. Well, I'll take you around the other side, it's pretty much the same. Um, it's obviously not finished this bit here, which is not necessarily a bad thing, because if this has to come off, it's going to be easier anyway, but it's not the greatest edge, to be honest, so I don't know if that's going to be any use. I'm sure I could use something, but, yep, I'll see that's part of what I'm looking at. You've got all the little panels as well, like the strengthener in here that goes on the inner cell of the floor, attaches to the closing panel for the wheel arch. So it's all the little bits that you never think at the time. Um, this floor, I don't know the reason for the patch here, if he's made a mistake or what, or if it's not the right kind of floor, I don't know. <clears throat> but again, it's been mainly welded along. But it looks like it's sort of just stopped and come to a halt. It's quite a good fit at the back. Whether that's taken into account the subframe holes and lining up, I don't know. But, um, yeah, round to the back, which yeah, eagle-eyed viewers will spot, or probably spotted already, is that that's a Mark One back, so different lights and, you know, a diff different shape. So, um, yeah, that'll be getting kept. I don't, if I've got a Mark One, I'll have a Mark One. If I've not got a Mark One, I'm not going to try and dress it up like one. So, basically, the new valance underneath has strangely been welded on here, there's no flange, it looks like he's tried to de it, so I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but yep, we'll have to see. It came with just a trolley, uh, just a pallet and locking swivel wheels on it, you know, it just makes it so much easier just to wheel it in and out when I need to. Um, what else I got with it? I got a fully, I didn't get the Buzz Lightyear towel, that was separate, I got a fully assembled <clears throat> subframe. I don't think it's heritage. There's no stickers on, but feeling the thickness there between that and um, the one I'm building, it's <clears throat> different thickness. And it just doesn't look heritage, so <sighs> that's just something I'll have to live with. I'll see how the fit is when it goes on. Um, it was fully assembled, so it's got everything in it. Um, I'm going to take it all to bits and just make sure that of everything's fine. You know, I'm, I'm not going to take anything for granted that it works or it's done properly, I'll be doing all that. Plus, I want to show the rear subframe in my future videos as well, just to cover that, to see what... if anyone needs any help with things like that, and to learn for myself. So, the rear subframe... Can I stick the light on for me, will you? No. Yeah, yeah, still the old light. Um, so, I got a, another subframe, front subframe with it. It looks new, it's just been sitting about for a while, I think just scrapes, so that's probably come in handy at some point. I've got the one I'm building up anyway, but that's always handy to have a new one. I've got um, two doors that he bought for out there, that, off different cars, I think. You can read the um, writing on there, the yellow peril, so that's probably been sitting in someone's garage for decades. New bonnet, not a Mark 1, or at least I don't think it's a Mark 1. Um, the two front wings, this will be getting organised, it's just because it's all been dumped here in the last few days, and you can see the dust. Scuttle panel, the outer cells are there, all of this is heritage, and also there will be bits of mist, but inside, front end hidden in there, not forgetting least of all the... Um, Rotisserie, that's going to be great for this. I can't wait to get that going up. I need to get um, bolts and pieces and up to get that set up, but 
Yep, Sean C, I know you've um, done one, so yep, I'll be giving you a shout. You can come along and give me your expert advice. So I've already asked a few people's opinions of what they think I should do, and I will give you their answers right now. New project, what do you think we should do with it? Um, fix it. Fix it. Mm. Right, so I'm looking for other people's opinions, but um, Sean C's come along to have a look and nosy around, he's always welcome, so I asked him what he thought he would do with it, and well, Sean, what do you think? I'm still waiting on my cup of tea. Kettle's just boiled. <laughs> um, my honest opinion on it. The purists are going to hate me and probably stab me or, or shoot me for it, but I would cut it up for, for spares. Maybe make a trailer out of it. Maybe make a trailer out of the car. Um, you've got a lot of good parts on that, but a lot of parts that have been welded up quite badly. It's repairable, obviously, but I would either make a trailer out of it and uh, cut out the bits that you need or um, sell the shell. So there you go. That's now as much as I know is what you know. So let me know what you think. Let me know your opinions. I'm keen to hear them. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments and stay tuned for the next video.